and chair, please believe me that social issues have no nationality or state of origin. So with all due respect for the victims of other conflicts, people who live in Nagorno-Karabakh have the right to be uh, regarded by their rights. First of all, I would like to state regarding the Azerbaijani delegation, we are not the only ones who are stating that Lachin Corridor is blockaded. European Parliament states the same. Faced majority of PASA officials state the same and very many other international organizations. So when you accuse us of telling not the truth, uh, as a collateral damage, you accuse European Parliament and other respectful European organizations for saying not truth. But there is nothing special and nothing surprising in this policy. Holding hostages is the brand of Azeri diplomacy for a very long time. A few years ago, until now, the more than 30, I am speaking about the official number, POWs, for, uh, Armenian POWs are still kept in Baku as hostages. And now we have 120,000 more hostages who are kept in Artsakh as hostages for uh, Azerbaijan to have the possibility to make diplomacy. It's their brand of diplomacy. The other point that I want to share regarding the expert's visit to Baku, I'm really surprised. Because for many years, people who have surname ending Yan, no matter what passport they are holding, a US one, a Russian one, or a European one, were forbidden to visit Azerbaijan. And there are many cases regarding that. I also wanted to clarify for my international colleagues that I do repeat, there are no Armenian troops in Nagorno-Karabakh, and it has been stated very many times. Speaking about the peace treaty and peace discussions, at the moment there are some uh, discussions regarding uh, negotiations between Armenia and Azerbaijan. First of all, speaking about the territorial integrity you have mentioned, Nagorno-Karabakh conflict is not and never has been a territorial dispute. It is an issue of self-determination. and It's plain and simple. I do believe that the so-called peace treaty or the peace negotiations had to be conducted on the basis of OSCE means group framework, five statements made by the co-chairs of OSCE means group, and importantly in these chambers, by the principles that are stated in SEPA agreement between Armenia and EU, which were ratified by all the member states of EU. So I do believe that the voice of your legislative uh, organs, parliaments, is really important for you. And no matter what are you discussing currently with Nikol Pashinyan, I want you to know that uh, more than 90% of the population of Republic of Armenia says that Artsakh will never be a part of Azerbaijan. So not only Artur Khachatrian was speaking about it this morning, more than 90% of the population of Armenia is stating that. I don't really want to burden you with the more of information regarding what Azerbaijani delegation stated, but what currently is happening in Nagorno-Karabakh is a consequence, a social consequence, and a soon to become a humanitarian crisis. Regarding the ammunition and the stuff like that, please take into the consideration that gas pipeline, electric cable, and the cable for internet are from time to time blocked and injured by the Azeri troops. So I don't really believe that there can be something discussed about the pseudo or so-called eco-activists. And I do repeat that the vast majority of the terms I have used was expressed in the resolution by the European Parliament. Thank you.